Diabetes. It is a global epidemic and growing exponentially worse worldwide. Currently, there are almost 400 million people around the world living with the disease. And in just 20 short years, that number is expected to balloon to 592 million people living with diabetes. That is a 53% increase. Worse yet, the International Diabetes Federation, or the IDF, estimates that by 2050, one in every three people will live with diabetes if urgent action isn't taken today. Companies, organizations, and universities from all over the world have heeded the IDF's call for urgent action, and Pharmacite Biotech is among them. The company has put together an international diabetes consortium of experts in the field to help it develop a treatment for type 1 diabetes and the growing number of type 2 diabetics who have become insulin dependent. In order to pull off this feat of developing a successful treatment or cure for those who are insulin dependent, most researchers are looking for three things. A cell line capable of producing insulin that can act as an artificial pancreas, an encapsulation technology that can house the cell line inside the body and keep it protected from the body's immune system, and finally, a team of experts who can bring the treatment to life. Pharmacite Biotech has all three. Type 1 diabetes is caused by an autoimmune reaction where the body's defense system attacks the insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. As a result, the body can no longer produce the insulin it needs, making it necessary for type 1 diabetics to lead a life of monitoring their blood sugar levels and giving themselves daily injections in order to control the levels of sugar in their blood. Without that insulin, a person with type 1 diabetes will die. Developing a successful diabetes treatment for type 1 diabetics all starts with a cell line that is capable of producing insulin on demand. And for that, unlike most who have turned to eyelid cells which contain insulin-producing beta cells, Pharmacite has instead turned to Professor Ann Simpson and her colleagues at the University of Technology, Sydney, in Australia. Professor Simpson and her team have genetically engineered a liver cell line, referred to as the Melogen cell line, so that the cells will produce, store, and secrete insulin when the body needs it. We took these cells and we put the human islet glucokinase gene into the cells, and they secrete insulin between four and five millimole of the same as a beta cell. So therefore, when they're transplanted, the animals didn't become hypoglycemic. They maintained a normal blood glucose level. Well, we've transplanted it into uh, an animal model of diabetes. It's a chemically induced diabetes model, and we've transplanted the cells. It's the animals um, gradually reverse their diabetes and maintain normal glycemia. Then when we remove the graft of the melogen cells, the blood glucose levels shot up straight away, so we knew that it was the melogen cells that were causing the reversal of diabetes. So therefore, hopefully, we can encapsulate the cells that will protect them from immune rejection, and um, hopefully it will be a, a cure for type 1 diabetes. And this leads us to the next step in developing a successful diabetes treatment, encapsulating those melogen cells. This is where Pharmacite's signature live cell encapsulation technology, cell in a box, should prove itself superior to other forms of encapsulation. The tiny pinhead sized capsules will house the melogen cells inside the body of a type 1 diabetic keeping those cells safe from immune system attack and allowing the cells to do their work. Well, for diabetes, it's going to be so that we're transplanting a small factory, a cell factory, basically in the cell in the box, which is responsive to blood sugar. So as the patient eats more sugar and the glucose levels rise, the cell in the box starts to produce insulin. And more importantly, as the patient stops eating sugar and the glucose levels drop, the cell in the box will very, very rapidly turn off insulin production. So it's a very tightly controlled production of insulin. Actually the holy grail of cell encapsulation is diabetes. Cell in a box is a cell encapsulation technology that is of superior biocompatibility, which is the major advancement compared to current encapsul encapsulation strategies which are mostly based on alginate. I think cell in a box is different from what's gone before because 
For the first part, cells can actually grow in cell in a box, whereas in all the conventional matrices that have been used to date, it's almost like a sponge. The cells go in, they're in a the sponge, they're fixed, and they don't grow anymore. With cell in a box, we can grow the cells in the box till the box is full, and then we can transplant the box. So that's the first advantage. We can get a good cell loading, and an even cell loading. The second thing that we know about cell in a box is that the material what it's made is much, much better in terms of biocompatibility than other materials out there. So that's less chance of the body actually somehow rejecting the material or saying it's foreign. The third thing I would say is that we have the possibility to produce cell in a box in large quantities. So we can manufacture it at a factory scale and we can also freeze it down, keep it for long periods and then ship it which is something you can't do with other types of encapsulation. This sodium cellulose sulfate capsules which will protect the cells from the immune response which would attack them and destroy them. But we don't have to worry about the cytokine immune response because the cells are immune to that. But they're not immune to the larger components of the immune system and that's what the capsules will protect them from. Is if you can take a cell line such as the melogen cell line which is a source which is well characterized, it's well qualified, you can store it, you can reproduce it, you can make a lot of it very easily and you always know that you're getting the same thing over and over again. And if you can do that and marry that with cell in a box, then you have the perfect product for treating diabetes. With the Melogen cell line in place and cell in a box set to house the cell line to keep it protected, the final piece to developing a successful treatment for type 1 diabetes is a team of experts who can put it all together, test it, modify the treatment where necessary, perfect the dosing in a number of animal models, and get the treatment into clinical trials as quickly as possible. That team is the International Diabetes Consortium. Pharmacite CEO Kenneth Wagner has assembled close to 20 experts in the field of diabetes from all over the globe who have come together to work toward one goal, developing an artificial pancreas or a cure for insulin-dependent diabetes. One such member is Dr. Thomas Stratman from the University of Barcelona, who has developed a mouse model that will greatly speed up the work being done to develop the company's diabetes treatment. We just need a mouse that is diabetic in order to see whether we can cure it. So the faster we have this mouse in our hands, the better it is for the company. So if we were to use it with a normal not mouse model, we would have to wait between 40 weeks before we could even start the experiments that pharmacists are interested in, where with our mouse model we can start within 10 days. I mean, we've brought together here some of the best brains in diabetes, I would say, who are working, who've researched for many years, who understand the models, who understand the problems. At the moment we're discussing the acute problems of diabetes, which is how to treat the acute phase, but we also have models lined up for the chronic effects of diabetes, the long-term effects of diabetes, which are becoming increasingly important as the incidence of diabetes rises, especially in the aging population. So I think with this consortium, we actually have the right experts who can really supply the right tools that we can test the treatments that we're developing to make sure they really work. Because the experts that make up the International Diabetes Consortium are all working toward the same goal, it allows the group to do its work in tandem rather than completing just one crucial experiment at a time. This will, of course, expedite the group's ability to get a diabetes treatment into the clinic. So with a cell line in place, an encapsulation technology ready to prove it can keep the melogen cells protected inside the body, and a team of experts all working in concert for a cure Pharmacite Biotech is well on its way to developing a treatment for type 1 diabetes.